hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm making Jamaican red peas soup and over here guys I've got the list of ingredients that I'll be using to make this soup and this is a meatless red peas soup there will be no meat in there so guys over here I've got my red kidney beans soaking I've got some spelt flour that I'm going to be used. I've got my coconut, pumpkin, sweet potato, some yam, cassava, spring onion, thyme, garlic, green pepper, scotch bonnet, and I've got some okra, and I've got some cornmeal because red pea soup with a cornmeal dumpling, it's no red pea soup. Yeah, without sweet potato and cornmeal dumpling, mm mm. So, guys, let's jump straight into this video. And I'm, I won't be using any um, punky noodles or all of that. If you want, you can go ahead and use it. I'm also going to add some carrots in there, guys. Yes, I forget to mention that. But, yeah, I, I won't be using, I don't like noodles. So, yes, this is nice, meatless, red pea soup. So, yeah. So over here guys I've got my pot on. I'm gonna go ahead and add some pimento berries in there. Some fresh thyme, two cloves of garlic, and I'm gonna add my kidney beans in. And I'm gonna give it a stir and I'm gonna allow that to boil. But keeps checking meantime, guys, to make sure your kidney beans cooked. All right. So I'm gonna check like the next ten minutes, ten to fifteen minutes. I'm gonna check on it to make sure it need more liquid in the pot and stuff like that. And I like to season my kidney beans as I go along when I'm cooking to help it bring out the flavor in there. All right. So guys, I did went and check. But I didn't record that bit, so yeah, I, I, I had some uh, cold water to the peas, and yeah, but not a lot, just a cup. So guys, this is how it looks now. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna um, test our peas to see if it cooks. And in order to do it, test it, guys, you have to just put it in a spoon like this, and then you're gonna use your hands. Make sure your hands are clean, guys. You cannot cook with a dirty hand. All right, and you're gonna go ahead, and then you're just gonna press, guys, to see if it cooks. So get a fork if you wanna use your hand. Go ahead and do it like this, and you can see it's soft, right? So now, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have all my vegetables to the pot. So now I'm gonna have a pumpkin and my carrot in, and I'm also gonna add some bit more water in there because as you see there's no liquid in there at the moment so now i'm gonna add some water in there so because i need to add the rest of the ingredients the odd food and all of that dumplings and all of that right at this time guys i'm just gonna let this boil up and then while i'm going go ahead and i'm gonna prep all my odd food sweet potato, yam and all of that. All right. So now guys, I'm gonna add my sweet potato and a piece of cassava into the pot. I'm not gonna add a lot of um, hard food because I want sip. I don't want too much hard food. I'm gonna dice them really small. As you can see, the pot's already full because I like my sip with a lot of kidney beans right and I still need to add some dumpling in there so I'm not gonna add any more um, add food to this apart from dumpling coconut milk and seasoning I'm also gonna add some more water there into the pots to have some bit more liquid to cook all of that so now guys I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna need my flour I'm gonna pop back the lid on when it starts boiling up. I'm gonna add my coconut milk and my seasoning, and then my dumpling. I put it on low heat and let it 
cooked guys all right so you will see i'm doing step by step as i go along this is the best thing for the cold because it's so cold outside nice red peas soup man it's the best so now guys i'm gonna put the dumpling in but before i put the dumpling in i'm gonna add some more fresh thyme to green sketch barnet pepper and i'm also gonna add some spring onion in the pot to bring out the flavor you're okay, gonna season it i'm gonna have my put in my dumpling last all right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my coconut milk in there. Give it a stir. Oh, smells so good. Remember at this stage guys, I do not add any salt to the red pea soup at this time. There's no salt being added. I'm just going to add a pinch of salt in there not too much just a tiny pinch because i don't want it to um, i like it high time so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pop the lid on let this boil up then put my dumplings in now i'm gonna add the dumpling to the pot guys and i already need my flour and everything just already set so just making some dumpling to put in there and I'm not making them big because I don't like big dumpling. Just, just like this. Yeah. That is the soup smells so good. So, so good. And then it's so cold outside. So, yeah, I'm really going to enjoy it. Just like this. Put in there. Yeah, it's so small. I like my dumplings to be small. I don't like this big wheel like carrot tire. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's just so tiny. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish making with dumpling for the pot. And yeah, I'll see you then. So now that I finished made the dumpling guys and add it in the pot, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give the pot a stir. Guys, make sure at this point you keep stirring because you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pot. And make sure you put it on low heat. At this time, I'm going to pop back the lid on and turn the stove on low heat and let it cook. So guys, I'm going to put some okra in the pot and then for about 3 minutes. So after 10 minutes guys, after I put the dumpling in, I'm just I'm add some okra in there. I'm gonna give it a stir. I'm just I don't want the okra to to be soft in this time. So after three minutes guys, I'm gonna turn this off because I need this soup. Yeah, and then the okra will be steam. I don't want it to look at this guys to get saggy. Wow, this is so nice. You can go ahead, guys, and give it a taste. I'm going to give it a little taste in my hand. You don't want to taste it from the same spoon that you're using in the pot, guys. You know? So you're just going to pour a tiny bit in your hand like that and give it a taste. Yeah, so guys, remember... I didn't add any salt to this. I want to keep it item. But if you want to add salt, you can go ahead and do so. But I want to keep it item. Real Rastafarian way, you know? Yeah. Now, guys, this soup is done. Yes, and I don't want the okra them to get no cook anymore. I want them like this, a bit crunchy. Oh my gosh. Guys, it smells so good. I'm gonna give it a stir so you can see. Wow. Yeah. We got dumpling. 
So this is it guys, I'm going to play it up and then yeah. So guys, this is the final product of my meatless idle soup, otherwise sip. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, comment down below and let me know yeah if you like this video guys please don't forget to hit that notification bell so whenever i upload you won't miss the video and i just want to say guys i'm gonna go and big up on yourself and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching guys hope you enjoy this recipe and i'll see you in my next video until then bye guys